A-C-K. Decoding is a word identification skill that allows readers to use the relationship between letters and sounds to recognize words in print. Readers use decoding skills to identify words when they read and to spell words when they write. Readers must be able to decode or identify words independently and rapidly in order to read fluently enough to understand what they read. Phonics is a highly recommended strategy for teaching decoding that enables beginner readers to read words independently and accurately so they can focus on understanding what they read rather than on struggling to sound out each word. You'll now watch a learner and a tutor practicing phonics by analogy. With this approach, learners use parts of words they already know to identify unfamiliar words. Okay, Jonathan, so some of the exercises we're going to do today are going to help to build a foundation of the sounds that different letters have so that the more we practice, it becomes automatic for you that when you see a letter, you know the sound that it makes so that you will automatically blend those letters in and recognize new words and help you write new words and other words that we may not be familiar with. So it may sound fundamental, but it's a really solid building block that's going to get you to those long-term goals that we're looking for, okay? Okay. Jonathan, we're going to do another practice here and really look at some of those word families again, and we're going to look at the A-N word family here. And it is because they rhyme when you put a new sound in front of them. So with the AN sound here, let's make some words that will rhyme and be in the same family. So what words can you think of that would have an A-N at the end? Um. Man, M, and. Good. Let me have another one. Um, p, p, and. P, a, n, pan. P, an. An. Good. F, and. Fan. Mm -hmm. And you notice that all these words rhyme. Man, fan, pan. How about another word? K, an. K, k an. Mm. Good. Can. And with the with a B you have ban. ban. Good. And with your T you will have T. Tan. Good. And an R makes it R and. Good. Ran. And with a P. Pan. Good. Now you have pan. L lan. With the L is lan. And, and ban. with a V. Van. Good. So, Jonathan, we did the letter family of A-N. Now let's try new words with the I-L-E, aisle. What words can you think of that we might make out of aisle with the letters in front? What sounds and letters would we put in front of that? Um, tile. There you go. Tile. How about another word? Um, the aisle. Vile. Vile. I like that. Good one. Nile. The Nile. Okay, good. Nile. Pile. Pile. Good. P pile. Pile. Good. With a P. Ryle. Or the R makes it Ryle. Ryle. Good. Anything else? How dial. Now. The sounds are absolutely correct. Dial, because this is aisle, this is a D for dial. But that actually isn't how it's spelled. So here in English, we don't make it easy on you, but the sounds were correct. Okay. Anything else? Can you get fancy and give me a couple, couple letters in front of aisle to make some words? Smile. Good one. Smile with an SM in front, okay? Mile. Mm -hmm. Mile. Good one. Okay, we put a while. WH in front, and now you have? While. While, good. Let's see. Got any other letters you can put in front and make a nice word? There you go. Exile. Um, I might switch that around a little. There you go, okay. <laughs> EX in front of aisle is exile. Exile. Very good. good. Those are good words. So Jonathan, we did a lot of work today. We went through a lot of sounds in a lot of different ways of practicing and reinforcing sounding out words and letters. What was your take on that? Did you feel good about it? What were the things that you liked? I liked 
Well, I like most of it. Okay. How about the repetition? Did it feel too repetitious, or was it really getting easier every time we kind of covered some of the same same things when we would do sounds and letters and words? Um, got easier, but there are some some hard areas. So let me ask you as well, of all of the different ways that we practice today, how do you think you would use some of these techniques and skills in your everyday life when you're out and about? How do you think you might use some of these? Um, I'll use them on like um, street signs, um, um, signs in, in stores, places, buildings, so I know where to go. You know, help me. Um, read better, know, know where the words are, and then spell them and write them out. Good. Good. I'm glad it'll help, and we'll keep working on those then. Okay. Good. You've just seen a learner and a tutor practicing phonics tasks that help learners identify words as they read and spell words as they write. This type of focused practice should take up no more than 20 minutes of any given lesson. You can ask your local literacy program or an adult literacy listserv for advice on curriculum choices that provide structured, sequential phonics practice.